are a billion, billion, billion phytoplankton in the ocean. That's more than there are stars in the sky. Not only that, but within these billions, there are over 100,000 different species. Our ocean is vast, and with a surface area of over 360 million square kilometers, over two thirds of our planet's surface, how on earth can we know what's going on? Well, one way is from space. It's a bit of a, a puzzle, trying to figure out how much of that photosynthetically fixed carbon actually is sequestered into the deep ocean. So satellite images show the greenness of the ocean. Phytoplankton absorb blue light. When there's more phytoplankton, more green light is reflected. And you can see that there is big gradients as you go from the open water into regions that are more influenced by terrestrial runoff. So what do we do with this information and what can it tell us? We can use these ocean colour maps to get daily estimates of carbon fixation, which we can integrate over decades to see how this is changing over time. From this information, coupled with experiments we do on the ship and in the lab, we can figure out how much of the carbon that's being fixed in the ocean's surface is actually being sequestered into the deep ocean. And so by putting all that together, that gives us a better context of what's going on in the natural environment. And there's different satellite data also that we can use to kind of glean some of that information. So all of these things can kind of help us better assign those parameters that we measure on the ship on a pixel by pixel basis all over the globe.